Hello Cancer, welcome in. These are weekly alchemical keys I'm going to be doing every Sunday to give you a little overview, little nudges and hints from spirit about the week ahead. Okay, take what resonates, take what uplifts you. Remember it's general, so don't make it fit if it doesn't. And I'm going to get on with the reading. Please hit that like button, comment and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you for all your support, your subscriptions, your comments. You've really warmed my heart up. Okay, so let me get on with your messages. Okay, energies for Cancer, please, Spirit. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords coming out in the central energy position. Ooh, Ace of Cups underlying the Lovers. Looking like a romantic one for you, but with the, um, God, that's two. Okay, I'm going to take two. King of Swords here and the Emperor. How interesting. And what else? What's coming up ahead of time? Four of Pentacles. It almost seems to me like you're in a situation where there's a lot of love, right? But it's almost like you've both switched your feelings off. I'm going to clarify these because the Ace of Cups being the underlying energy here. This could be you really finding love for yourself and deciding that if someone's not going to put their heart center into things in the way you would like, then you're going to kind of turn away and hold back from them. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it seems like you're cutting off and holding back, maybe trying to sort of trigger somebody into realizing that this is love, this situation that you're in, or maybe you're looking further out I mean we've got the king of swords and the emperor it's almost like someone's almost the perfect match for you but then there's this other energy either you're waiting for this person to get in their emperor energies or you're thinking I would rather conjure up an emperor you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra Aquarius nine of swords on the bottom of the deck hmm interesting spirit show me this ace of cups please Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands here. So yeah, it almost seems like you're looking for something with more passion, more fire, more flair, and more love, you know? The Lovers is all about what pathway you're going to take, knowing that if you take the King of Swords pathway, it will give you a completely different movie, a completely different life experience versus taking an Emperor pathway. I feel like whatever it is you've decided you want, you're holding your position very confidently. You're not about to be swayed by emotion when it comes to this King of Swords, I feel. Ace of Cups, it's not like you don't want love. I think you're really thinking long term here. You're really thinking, do you deserve me? Do you bring a full cup of love to my feet? Because the underlying energy that's affecting this whole thing is that quest for love, that holy grail. Being satisfied, being appreciated. The Queen of Wands won't put up with anything, or anyone rather, that, who doesn't appreciate her fully in her majesty, right? Show me this lover's card, please, spirit. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Three queens on the board. Three queens. Could be that someone you're dealing with has been dealing with others. But I sort of feel like for most of you, this is more you being almost one step away from empress uh, status, right? Really filling in parts of your soul. Becoming more powerful. Covering all your bases. Okay, in reverse, this, this could still be male energy. But there's definitely the sense of improving yourself, evolving yourself, realizing you've got multiple options, multiple pathways. Show me more for the lovers, please. We've got the Knight of Pentacles alongside the Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. 
This could be a family situation. Maybe your person has a family elsewhere and they've got a child. Maybe that's why you're thinking, you know what, maybe, I, maybe I'll turn away from this. This could be you wanting this person to be more nurturing, be more of a family person, a family man or woman. And maybe they're dragging their feet, yeah? Maybe they're taking too long, but we've got the Nine of Swords here. I feel like you're, you're moving away from anything with the chariot showing up. You're moving away from anything that's beneath you. I'm really getting that sense here of you being quite regal in your regal in your energies and becoming more and more evolved downloading more and more of your higher self piece by piece until you you fully embody this empress energy and we've got the star here right establish strength Oof. show me the queen of swords please spirit i can feel your energy capricorn sorry cancer why did i say that because i've just done the capricorn reading i can feel your energy cancer and um very powerful, very powerful stuff. Four of Cups, yeah. Someone's disappointed you here. But it, I feel like it's made you just love yourself all the more. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe someone didn't work as hard on the relationship as you would have liked them to work. Maybe you felt like it was you putting in all the work and them just sort of taking you for granted. Show me the King of Swords. Three of Cups, okay, right. Ten of Wands. I feel like you don't really, whoever this person is you've been dealing with, I feel like you're losing respect for them. I feel like you're losing respect because of the way they handle their business, because they've got multiple people involved. Or maybe you're realizing, you know, I just don't want to be with someone who's got another family. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to do that, okay? It's perfectly normal for someone to be like, you know what? I, 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 it's not for me. I just, I don't want to do it. You know, a burden. Maybe this person's quite controlling and deals with other people. And you're like, you know, I'm just going to hold back from this. I'm cutting this off. I can't be dealing with it anymore. Okay, let's grab another deck and see what's incoming. I feel like the self-love here has gone through the roof. Ace of Cups and the Fire Queen. Look at her, she's so cute. Fire Queen. Queen of Wands. Right. And I feel like you want to be with someone who's got a lot of spiritual power. That's the vibe I'm getting. Because the Ten of Wands is also like a surplus of spiritual energy. Okay, it's having so much going for you almost. That you willingly take on. You know, you sort of take on what they would call the burden or you know, the bundle of sticks that the Ten of Wands represents because you can, because you want to. But I feel like you want someone who's got real spiritual power. Look at this. It almost looks like four strange wands at the top here. God, Spirit's telling me you want a real man for whoever I'm talking to or vice versa, you know, that you want a real woman. You know, someone that's all yours. Someone who will focus devotedly on you. Yeah, new love. I feel like new love is really underlying your decisions this week. And you found strength in places you, you know, may not have felt it before. It's almost like you're a new version of yourself. Something's catalyzed you into, you know, seeking that empress status, wanting to be treated wonderfully, treated like a star, treated like you're precious and special. And why not? Seven of Wands coming out, holding your positioning and holding back. Hierophant. So this is you either turning to the divine or this, I feel like in this reading, this is you with marriage on your mind. Yeah, look, king of wands. I feel like you want someone more fiery. More, more of a boss, you know, someone who's got the charisma, someone who wants to pamper you, nurture you, protect you, idolize I feel like there's a sense of you want someone who's worshipable and who worships you. Someone fiery, you know? Someone who can uh, make you feel giddy with excitement. Someone who makes you realize what love is all about. Show me more for cancer. I was almost going to say Capricorn again then. I'm terrible, right? <laughs> Show me more for cancer, please. Six of Cups. I feel like you're blocking out the past. I feel like it's just, just not enough. 
not enough. Show me more for the Hierophant, please. Page of Pentacles. Wow. This could, for some of you, be a proposal. Someone coming in to offer you something. And we've got a match here. Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. You could have two multiple people on your mind at the same time, right? Someone that it didn't work out with. I'm getting like a Gemini vibe. Someone who's less fiery and then someone super fiery. Maybe you've got two people that want you. But this is definitely kind of like proposal energy, an offer, an energetic offer. Wheel of fortune. Changes, big changes. Maybe you're confused who to choose, right? Whew, intense. This is quite intense energy I'm picking up on. Lots of energies, lots of people involved. The fool. Okay, so this is like spirit saying, choose what appeals to your higher self more. Choose the one that makes you feel free. Yeah, someone's going to offer you something. I don't think you want it from that person. You're still holding back four of pentacles twice. I'll always remember Abraham Hicks saying, the right relationship will make you feel more free than you felt before. Ten of wands on the bottom of the deck again. It's almost like someone's too overbearing for you. Someone wants everything their own way. And it's kind of made you realise, well, if you get to have everything your own way, then what about what I want? You're definitely on the frequency of conjuring up the love you want with the Ace of Cups. And you'll get that from loving yourself first, from adoring yourself. I mean, look at these side by side. They go so well together. Ace of Cups and the Fire Queen. Self-adoration, Cancer. It's almost like someone might be offering you something, a proposal, whatever, just simply because you've been holding back and they feel like they're going to lose you. Maybe you're waiting for this person to turn into an emperor, to be more fiery, to be more assertive, to be a warrior. Spirit keeps saying to be a real man, you know? Something that no one can ever cancel out of our nature, our human nature, no matter how much media manipulation or chaos causing they try to do, you can never stop the lioness wanting the lion, okay? It's imprinted within us. Temperance, wheel of fortune. Big energies, trying out new things, alchemizing a new reality, letting the wheel turn, letting energy shift, playing your hand and seeing how people react when they realize that you're not budging, you are who you are and you can manifest anything you want, okay? Anything you want. Okay, I'm going to pull from my compass deck, see what the guides want you to know. What advice for cancer? Miracle, wow. Interesting. <laughs> Miraculous energies heading your way. We've got cardinal, which you are cancer. You're a cardinal sign, you're leaders. And we've got mid heaven. So looking at your mid heaven, where your mid heaven is in your chart may help you with this situation, help you gain more clarity, help you get in the right mindset. It's almost like you're conjuring up some sort of miracle through holding your ground and through that self-love. So this could be a transformed person, someone moving into a higher dimensional metaphysical version of themselves. Because I feel like you're playing your cards close to your chest. And uh, you're, make, you're keeping them on their toes, you know, you're making them rethink things. Definitely, definitely looks like a proposal for someone out there. Let me know how this resonates in the comments, okay? But Spirit's advising that you, you stay true to your heart. You stay true to your higher self. Keep yourself free in your mind and flowing with life. Hope this has helped, Cancer. Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I'll be back next Sunday with more of these keys. Lots of love.